Good morning YouTube. I uh, just wanted to get done uh, doing this after doing a rain session <clears throat> with my Ruger SB-101 357 Magnum Revolver. And for those of you who have seen this, this gun I have done a few changes to. Uh, but I am very, very pleased, even out of the box, how well these guns shoot. I'm going to go out on a limb and say for the amount of money you're going to spend on one of these, this is the best 357 Magnum, on the, Magnum Revolver on the market for personal defense. I don't think there's one better right now. Uh, you can get these in standard configuration for about, I'd say $500 would be about right for that shorter barrel and the uh, and basically right out of the box. <clears throat> I have done a few things to this gun. I did do a trigger kit. All I did was change the mainspring. I didn't go through and do a full house trigger kit like some guys do go through and replace all the springs. I don't do that. I just, I, I would have if I, I felt it needed it. It doesn't. I put a 10 pound trigger in. This thing is phenomenal with double action now. I replaced the front sight with Gemini Customs. They call this a small wonder sight. Uh, light years of difference versus the factory front sight. It shows right up very, very nice. And I replaced the plastic inserts with these from uh, Chex Grips. Did a wonderful job making these. These are around $20 shipped. These are English walnut. You cannot get better. But let me show you the results of the target. Now, one thing about my target is you'll notice here there's, there's no bullseye. I don't believe in shooting bullseye for personal defense because human beings don't have a target on them. And we have gotten so used to targets like that that it's when people have to shoot personal fence like pistol targets where there's no they get lost i've made my own silhouette targets at a cardboard before i've done that several times it works a lot better than going out and buying silhouettes um just take a couple pieces of square cardboard and make one square big and one square a little smaller for the head and tape them together and you have a silhouette target very simple um the majority of these this is all double action nothing single action were shot between five and seven yards and that's all these ones you see here circled. And these are not 38 special loads. These are 357 Magnum loads. 150 grain cast 358156 bullet with, uh, I'm going to say, a helping of 2400 powder. I know I've chronographed these out of a 6.5 inch barrel at around 1300 feet per second. Figure at the most with the barrel loss, you know, the shorter barrel with the velocity loss probably, I would say they're doing at least 1100 feet per second, which is far and above beyond any 38 special, even 38 plus P, especially with a 150 grain bullet. Um, now these three you see, these ones here that have the arrow pointed to them, those were shot from three yards, point shooting. Now point shooting, what is that? That is, you're not using the sights. It, it's probably the best way to describe the modern equivalent of a quick draw. You are using your body and using your arms. There's ways to describe how to do point shooting. Jeff Cooper was one of the best. Bill Jordan was phenomenal with it. It works great with double action revolver. It's just the gun seems to point and handle so well. And that's what point shooting is. You're basically, it's like you're pointing your finger at the target. It's, and it's kind of exactly how it is. Now, again, this is three yards, which is, most people don't realize that's the majority distance of gunfights. It's between one to three, maybe five yards. They're not much longer than that. Uh, this guy'd be very dead, or at least hurting. I mean, yeah, they're a little low, but at still at the same time, um, he would definitely notice it, especially 357 loads. But again, Practice point shooting, and that you see this holster here. This is the holster I use. This is a simply rugged, they call it a, a silver dollar pancake holster. And it's simply at one shot, as fast as I can safely draw the revolver, point, pull the trigger. The gun is not coming up past waist length or waist height, it's not coming up past that. It's you're not shooting it directly from the hip, you are it's almost like throwing a knife where you you extend your arm slightly. It's hard to describe how to do it while actually showing you, but look up point shooting when it comes to a handgun revolver. It's a lost science that the FBI perfected in the 30s. Shooters like D.A. Bryce, 
Bill Jordan, those guys all knew how to point shoot. It's, it's a skill not being taught anymore. People should know if you're going to carry a gun for personal defense, you should know and how to basically deal with point shooting. You're not talking like Western movies where you see a guy hip shoot somebody from 25 yards. That's not how it's done, and that's Hollywood. But there is a logical and realistic science behind this, and it does work. Practice it. I've been practicing it for years. Um, but again, for the money, if I was going to buy a 357 Magnum brand new again, if I didn't already have this, this would be the gun I bought. I just fired three cylinders full of double action 357 Magnum revolver out of a gun with a two and a half inch barrel. My hand is not hurt. The recoil is extremely manageable. With, and those are just the factory rubber grips. The inserts are different, but the, the grips themselves are Ruger. I think you can't get a better handgun. Um, don't waste your money on all sorts of little fancy dress-ups and lights and stuff like that. You don't need them. The site, yes, I, I recommend that site. It's like a $45 site. You can get it pre-drilled, spend the extra $10, have it pre-drilled, have a gunsmith put it on. It will not take them long to do it. It's not that expensive. Um... Put a different trigger in it, and you're ready to roll. But don't go spending a lot of money. This is all the gun you ever will need. And 357 Magnum in this gun is more than controllable. Go get yourself one and learn how to shoot it and shoot it well, and you will be uh, far and away as ready for any situation I can think of that you will ever need. And that's coming from someone with a few years of law enforcement experience. I've shot Glock pistols. We've used them. I like these just be simply because it's simple. You can't screw it up, and it's not overly expensive. Nothing against Glocks. Don't get me wrong. I like them, but I like this a lot more. So there you go. Go out and get yourself something like this. Have a good day, and stay shooting.